Today, we're going to talk about how to start an essay by explaining the background information on your topic. This is a topic not a lot of teachers talk about, but is super important to writing an effective introduction paragraph for your essay. I'm not only going to walk you through the process, but give you a simple formula so you can get started writing the A plus introduction paragraph. So sharpen your pencils and grab a piece of paper to take notes because you don't want to miss what is that sound? You said to sharpen my pencil. Let's start by talking about the purpose of explaining the background information of your topic in your introduction paragraph. But before we get to that, I got to give a shout out to my wife, Mrs. Messenger. She's the one that helps me make all these animations you see here. Hey, that's not nice. Can we take that down? Is that going to be up there forever? Let's get back to talking about the topic and let me use my wife as an example. She's a nurse and had to go through years of intense schooling to become one. Every day when she gets home from work, I ask her, how's your day? And no joke, this is her typical response. I had to write it down because it's so complicated. Patient had an episode of RVR, so we called a rapid. He was symptomatic with ALOC and was hyperintensive. Amio drip fixed that real quick. Really? What does that even mean? Shh, just pretend like you know. To be honest, 95% of the time, I have no clue what she's talking about. I usually respond to something like, that sounds nice. I'm not a nurse and I didn't learn those words. I don't have the background information to understand what she's even talking about. And just like that, when you start your essay, you must explain the basic information about your topic so your reader can understand the rest of your essay. Do not start arguing or writing the main ideas of your essay here. The goal here is to think about which words, ideas, or historical information your reader may not know and then briefly explain it to them so they can understand the rest of your essay. And just like your hook, I would actually wait till the end of your essay to write this portion, even though it's in the first paragraph of your essay. I'm gonna show you how to explain your background information in such a way that benefits the entire essay. So let's jump into the process. Step one, look at your question and think about which words, ideas, concepts, or historical information your reader may not know. Try to think about your question from the perspective of your audience. Look at my example. Which superhero is the greatest in the DC universe? When I look at my question, there are three words and ideas that pop out to me. I wonder if my audience will even know what the DC universe is and whether that's the same as Marvel. And also the word superhero can mean many different things. But the most important word and idea that I need to explain is what greatness means. How I define that word changes my entire essay. If you have found any value in what you've heard so far, consider hitting subscribe and smashing the like button. Step two, let's talk about the secret formula I mentioned earlier. In order to explain the basic information on your topic, you wanna to use a five W's plus an H. What's that? Who, what, when, where, why, and how. Now you wanna list out all the topics you'll need to explain in your background information. Notice I list Batman because I wanna actually give the background information on the answer to my question. Go through and try to come up with the questions your audience may have using the five W's plus an H. Let's look at my example, the DC universe. I'm gonna use the five W's plus an H and try to come up with as many questions about my topic as possible. Who? Who created the DC universe and who's in the DC universe? What? We could say, what is the DC universe? Now when, when is the DC, no, that doesn't make sense. Or when was it created? Where is the DC universe? No, that doesn't make any sense. Let's skip that one. Why is it DC universe? That's such a deep philosophical question. I'm not even gonna answer that. And lastly, how, how is it, how is it different than Marvel? I'm gonna go through each topic and list as many questions as possible that I think my audience may have but let me show you a couple of things. First, notice I don't use every question stem because some of the questions just don't make any sense. Like, where is the DC universe? Uh, I don't know. Two, I'm not gonna answer all these questions. I will edit that down in a second. Thank you, I was getting scared. It's important to just write down everything so you don't miss anything. Notice that some of the answers to these questions are really short. Like, who is Batman? Bruce Wayne. Where does he live? Gotham City. Four, I am not, I repeat, I am not gonna start arguing why Batman is the greatest here. I'm just gonna give the basic information about my topic so my reader can understand the rest of my essay 
and that is where I'll explain why he's the greatest. Step three, let's edit the questions. Now I'm gonna go through and get rid of all the questions that are unnecessary and don't add anything to my essay. I don't have time and it's really pointless for the goal of my essay to explain how DC is different than Marvel. So I'm gonna get rid of that. And even though I have three questions left, it's only gonna be one sentence. My goal here is to get rid of any question that's gonna distract the reader from the goal of my essay. Why Batman is the greatest superhero in the DC universe. We'll see about that. Step four, I'm not actually gonna answer the question. Looking at the three questions from the DC Universe, I could say something like this. The DC Universe, created by Malcolm Wheeler Nicholson in 1939, is filled with famous superheroes like Superman, Wonder Woman, Green Lantern, The Flash, and Batman. And what I did there is I not only introduced Batman, but I introduced the other superheroes people might think are great. And then later in my essay, I'll explain how Batman is greater than them. And then I'll do the same thing with Batman. Again, my goal, is to give enough basic information about my topic so the reader can understand the rest of my essay and why Batman is the greatest. And again, to be successful, I'd write this at the end of your essay, even though it's in the first paragraph. Now let's look at the most important word in my entire essay, greatest. I don't think many students understand the gravity of what I'm about to show you, and it results in many poorly written essays. Since making these videos, many people have reached out and said something along the lines of, Superman's the greatest because he can beat a Batman. Sounds about right. And it's possible that Superman or Flash or anyone else could beat up Batman, but that doesn't make them the greatest. My whole essay comes down to how to find the word great. It's not about having the greatest powers or big muscles or being able to beat up someone. I'm gonna argue that true greatness is found in someone who's willing to lay down their life for other people. And based on that definition, I'm gonna argue that Batman is the greatest. And you can see how I define that word in my introduction changes my entire argument. So look at your essay and ask yourself, which word do you need to find that's gonna give you the advantage and strengthen your argument? Step five, I take all that information and turn it into a paragraph. The first example you'll see is a paragraph I'll use in my introduction if I'm writing a shorter essay, maybe five or six paragraphs. Now the second example I'm gonna use for a longer paper, maybe a three to five page paper. The length of your essay will determine how much information you need to include in your background information. At this point, I would advise you to do one of two things. One, pause the video and actually read through both examples. Two, watch the video above to see how that background information fits into the structure of an introduction paragraph. Step six, you wanna review, revise, and edit your background information. Take a look at these questions and go through each one carefully. I guarantee that if you take the time to edit your writing, it's gonna improve your grade and the quality of your essay. As always, check the video description for free resources. Make sure to hit subscribe because I'm gonna walk you through the entire writing process from start to finish. Let us know in the comments if you have any questions. Smash the like button. Adios. <music>